thousand work placement presentation. The model of reflection I'll be using today is the Gibbs model of reflection as I feel it gives structure to learn from experience and offers a good framework on reflecting in learning, planning, what, what went well and what didn't go as well and where to improve in the future. So what is Power and Barnes Media? Power and Barnes Media is a UK based business consultancy marketing company founded by Marceline Power and it specialises in working with big and small businesses, charities and communities all around the UK. Services include online branding and website design, social media campaigns, digital content, outdoor display advertising and cultural media. If you look, they look at helping businesses, councils by creating marketing solutions and business opportunities offline and online campaigns and social media promotion and create meaningful and engaging content that help raise awareness around black owned business and other charities and councils involved. So how long has it been in business for? So ever since 2018, the year of its foundation, Marceline Powell has made it her goal to supply and give strategic communication and engagement services towards other businesses. Clients involve dedicated consultants supported by a small team of students and graduate interns, mainly from Nottingham, Nottingham Trent University and Birmingham City University for main, like for main students for the placement. Its main goal is to champion enterprise development and growth using efficient insight and strategy and support and maximises the success of businesses, small and large organisations in the UK. They help to organise and identify opportunities for organisations and charities to develop and grow and we support them to raise awareness, influence and lead and offer consultations and advice and propose solutions and manage projects that help clients exceed and work past their expectations that makes a lasting impact and good legacy for their business overall. So what I've done on a placement, so hashtag NG, so this is a online website and platform that helps to make a difference in young people's lives and getting away from violence and dangerous gangs and provides meaningful and content and stories on their website. My main role was to provide ideas on how to reach more and more communities around the UK, such as promoting their work on social media, going to schools, conferences and councils to look at the effects of crime and online bullying. Client consultation. This looks at building good rapports and good relationships with clients with on what their needs are, as well as giving marketing solutions and strategies to expand and raise awareness for businesses. So examples include social, social media promotion, offline and online campaigns and digital marketing as a whole. Calling councils around fostering and adoption. Doing this involved research in different councils across the UK and seeking to raise awareness and strategies in providing new homes and families for black and ethnic communities uh, who may struggle to look for carers for, for them. Arranging interviews with my placement provider and clients. Another objective I've worked on was contacting businesses via social media and agreeing a date and time with my placement provider to interview a person about his or her business. In arranging this interview, I looked at topics and questions to discuss about the business and company and what they do as a whole. Feelings going into my placement. During this placement, I felt a combination of different emotions such as passion, excitement and nervousness and shyness. When each session and objective was given to me to keep up to date with all the sessions, I made sure to ask Marcy and several objects if I wasn't too sure on at the beginning. So before my placement, I was a little bit I didn't know what the uh, company was, so I had to gain insight by researching the company and its founder and the main goal and vision. So before the interview, I was very, very nervous and shy and made sure to prepare myself by taking breaths and thinking about what I was going to say. So during the first few weeks, I was given individual tasks by Marceline, which meant doing things in my own time and like and reaching out to Marceline when I've done the projects such as uh, hashtag for hashtag NG. So when we began client consultation, and did role plays. I was very nervous and shy, couldn't start quite a bit, and especially uh, first time doing it because I felt um, it was a big, it was a big thing to ask of me. So I found out that contacting different councils quite challenging, as I had to find solutions and marketing and business opportunities to campaign for fostering and adoption for black and ethnic communities. I had trouble with 
well, such as editing time sensitive information in interviews and clients with and how to ask on my placement file and what the time was especially and and finding posts and pictures for relevant campaigns for hashtag ng after the topics i feel a lot more at ease and organizing interviews for marceline another aspect that's helped me in in client consultation was conducting marketing mot's which meant doing the research and doing research on different companies and different voice black businesses and rehearsing client consultation calls via word document given by marceline and asking people about their business and giving more insight into their socials and what aspects we can help with businesses such as campaigns and social media campaigns looking at all the images for relevant posts also helped me as it kind of like helps me give reasons out for why we should use them what kind of like relevant so what kind of relevant uh, story it holds and what kind of story it tells as well so what I've done well, so I felt what I've done well was develop new skills such as providing ideas on different topics on what we have discussed about, such as learning about marketing podcasts and what to put on for Power and Barnes Media and putting together different ba business databases. This gives me the opportunity to look at different databases to contact and gives me further confidence to um, think about what I'm going to say for to arrange interviews in the future. So another strength I felt I've identified was being confident, and being able to arrange interview with Marceline and clients. This gave me stories and insight into people's own experience and the business they own and one, what kind of identity they have. So forming industry connections via social media and contact details such as Instagram and LinkedIn. This helps me be to be able to find any contacts and other people who I thought would be a good addition to Urban Capital for interviews and podcast meetings. What didn't go as well, what I felt didn't go as well was I struggled with carrying out different co consultation while playing and calling different councils regarding topics to promote. As I felt my communication and confidence with talking to people wasn't as well thought out and intended when pre prepared to do phone calls with them. What also didn't go as well was coming up with different ideas and not expanding them as much as I should have and exploring them into great details how to expand urban capital's popularity towards a new audience and demographic. For other times I felt a little bit shy and couldn't come out of my shell during opportunities so this gave me a good opportunity to improve on in the future in case it, ever, it should ever arise. Analysis. So with this production it kind of helped me learn more about a different marketing, different aspects of the media industry that I'm very interested in such as helping to give out ideas and solutions to expand businesses and advice through through advice and expertise via social media and campaigns and create marketing solutions for different businesses that you intend to come in contact with. So helping to organize meetings between my placement provider and client. This gave me a lot of uh, joy and confidence as I like to arrange and help to give out different times, different calls. That's, I felt that was my, part of my many strengths working with Power and Barnes. Doing topics in my own in my own time gave me the effort and to carry out projects for Marceline, especially for hashtag NG in the earlier weeks. To prepare myself, I hope to relax and develop my confidence when calling out different charities and organizations by rehearsing different role plays and look at their accounts and what to and what they do and also and also help to revise what I'm going to say and think about the words that will, that will come out. So transferable skills I've learned was communicating with marketing team about different tasks and roles as organizing team calls. Another transferable skill I felt I was able to continue was editing on Adobe software known as Adobe Audition where I managed to cut down time sensitive information in interviews with people talking about their organizations and events that Marceline interviewed. The skills that I'll need to develop is rehearsing and preparing to carry out calls to different councils and Another skill set I'll need to develop is working on talking to business, businesses in a clear and refined manner and make sure I don't mumble or stutter and think about and hand, I'll make sure to think about what to say beforehand. An action plan. To improve what I have learned in Power and Barnes, I'll need to improve communication skills and be very clear and specific in what I'm talking about to a new customer and client regarding Mark marketing solutions, business opportunities and campaigns and social media promotions being examples. I will need to make sure to understand the objectives and subjects that have been given to me by my placement provider. 
and give myself time and more preparation and research in different organisations, businesses, charities and councils in regards to uh, fostering and adoption or, or voice black businesses, for example, and look at talking about a topic and try to find a, a marketing solution and good opportunities for varying organisations. Using this experience, I'll hope to keep a good work ethic and develop good time management skills for uh, for the team I've worked in and for my placement provider to um, keep up to date and keep in our deadlines as a whole. Uh, thank you for listening.